Good morning, dear students. Uh, we are here to discuss about civil engineering construction one module. The first topic. Let us go with uh, earthworks. So we are here by supporting you through some online classes, which will help you to understand the content on PPT. And uh, I I kindly request everyone to follow the referred textbooks. Uh, civil engineering construction one module. As you all know, the PPTs are only having minimum content, which will be help us to explain you what are the topics you need to concentrate and all. So I kindly request everyone not to consider these PowerPoint presentations as reading materials, and please don't prepare from PPTs for your end examination. So these are the preferred uh, reference textbook for this module, and. Uh, we have uh, available textbooks in library or else we will provide you the, with the soft copies of the textbook coming to the first topic earthwork which is a generic topic which we all know that excavation of the ground is generally known as earthwork so while in civil engineering we have various types of earthworks involved in construction process so either it can be a small or a large project of a construction project we might have uh, various types of earthworks involved in uh, different stages of construction uh, some however in different stages of construction process as we discussed we need to use various type of mechanical equipment generally we can we call it as pl plant I have already discussed about this in the classroom. Uh, heavy civil engineering construction equipment can be referred as plant. So we will be using the same word throughout the lectures. So kindly please note down this point. Plant is referred to a mechanical equipment which is generally called as civil engineering construction equipment. In general, earthwork is classified as four broad categories. As you see here, it is first one is initial clearance. So, like uh, whenever you start any excavation project, uh, any construction project, and when you need to do some excavation, it is required to strip out the topsoil. So there might be tree, uh, trees or plants and uh, some type of disposed trash on the ground surface. So you have to clear all those things. So which which can be considered as initial clearance of vegetation and uh, stripping of uh, topsoil the second one is the excavation so while constructing the foundation we have to excavate ground into form of trenches or pits which is generally called as confined excavation then the next one is cuttings so when it is a, a huge excavation process is required we generally call it as open excavation so finally construction of embankments and filled areas generally in road construction process or uh, wherever you need to fill some area or whenever you need to construct an embankment uh, from the ground surface at a certain level so these are the basic introduction to the earthwork topic and uh, further we will be discussing about various types of plants used for uh, different stages of earthworks uh, various types of earthworks and management of earthwork and we are going to discuss about some plant teams and safety considerations while doing this earthwork and the most important part is the banksman so let us discuss who is banksman and what are his responsibilities and all so, so as i discussed earlier so we are referring plan uh, civil engineering construction equipment as plant so you observe here any earth moving operation has to be economic so as we discussed the basic objective of this module is to find out a suitable project suitable construction plant for a construction work sorry for an excavation work so for an earth moving operation it should be economic and a civil engineer responsibility is to select an appropriate plant for the respective job though the plant is so expensive civil engineering civil engineer should manage it effectively so you should be familiar with the equipment 
and its capabilities actually this is what your major objective of your coursework so your coursework is developed in such a way that students shall be able to understand various types of construction equipment which is planned is being used currently in Oman and what are the available models and their capabilities and their cost so which may help you further in your future uh, while deciding construction plan required for your projects so hence a suitable choice of plan should be made uh, you need to consider some factors such as type of soil to be handled geography of the site volumes of the soil so there are various various options or various requirements you need to consider while selecting the plant so let us go further and discuss various types of plants so i'll give you a brief about the earth moving equipment mentioned below such as motor scraper dozer grader hydraulic excavators and dump trucks so motor scraper dozer grader hydraulic excavator dump trucks the theory part you can find it from the referred textbook in the chapter 5 and I'll be showing you some images and I'll explain you briefly so if you go to Moodle you can also find some videos uploaded which will give you a clear idea how this equipment works so I recommend everyone to please go through Moodle and uh, observe uh, various videos uploaded regarding this uh, so you can see uh, we have a way these equipments are very well explained in textbooks in uh, 5.1 section in the Warren textbook and the second one is uh, Chudley and Greeno in the chapter 3 so the textbooks are shared with you already and it's there available in the library so let us go through each equipment I'll try to explain you with the help of some images I have downloaded let us go one by one uh, you can observe here this is uh, motor scrapper so generally motor scrappers you can observe here which, which consists of a huge bucket with two sets of wheels so here there is a blade at the bottom so which can be lowered uh, which can be raised the main operation of this equipment is to lower this blade to lower this blade and cuts the ground surface and whatever the soil is being excavated it will be collected into the buckets so once the bucket is filled the motor scraper will close the blade again and move to the another place and transfer the excavated soil and dump it where it is required so the capacity of the bucket can be somewhere like 8 cubic meters to 15 cu 50 cubic meters so this machine is generally designed to move large quantities of soil so this machine is used for large quantities of soil so this is not suited for uh, small quantities of soil so you please watch videos uploaded on Moodle you can see here I have uploaded various this is a brief video of overall construction equipment used for earthworks and this is a basic video how excavation will go so these are the common types of excavators if you see this this is the basic video how the motor scraper works if you would like to observe as I have already explained you so the motor scraper uh, these are various types of equipment see this this is how the motor scraper you, you can observe this blade here the, the blade will lower or rise it and it start excavating see you can observe the process here the blade is excavating and after excavating it is hauling and spreading out so kindly watch this video for the better explanation
So let us come back to the next equipment. You can see this is up, this is the diagram explained in the textbook. So this is the blade and this is the bucket. So let us go to the next equipment which is called as dozer. So generally these are called as crawl dozers which are powerful engines attached with a blade in the front. You can observe this blade observe uh, blade attached in the front. So this is a general type of equipment which is used for all soil types and these soils these excavators can excavate steep gradients very easily when there is a steep gradient like small mountains or small uh, embankments of earthwork so this machine is well recommended so how it works is it will push up it will push the soil up to some distance then it can lift the soil and it can dump it in any dump, uh, dump trucks or somewhere wherever it is required so this will affect this will work more effectively than a motor scrapper generally dofans, uh, dozers are used to assist motor scrappers you can see this this is a motor scrapper right so when it is excavating it will uh, dozers are also assist them to fill their buckets uh, by pushing the required excavated soil they are also used to recover construction vehicles whenever there is any struck in the construction place so these can adjust the level you can see here so these can adjust the level and they can be able to adjust the angle of the blade which makes the excavation accurate so then you can see the another next equipment which is grader grader so grader is not uh, an equipment for excavation it, it will not excavate or it will not haul like generally the word hauling means hauling of an equipment uh, transportation of excavated soil from one place to another place so these are generally used to level the surface you can see in the diagram you can see in the picture that it is a road surface where this can where the soil is being graded and leveled up to the surface so it consists of a straight blade similar to that of a user as a dozer but this will be used to maintain a smooth uh, road and it can be able to spread out the soil so these are graders the next the next one is known as hydraulic excavator most of us have seen this uh, very often on roads in various parts of excavation work uh, these are the most commonly used equipment nowadays we have uh, 360 degrees and 180 degrees excavators so 360 degrees which can run which can turn in 360 degrees and 180 degrees can only turn in the 180 degrees arc so 360 degrees excavator is used for heavy works and 180 degrees excavator is used for most general small works uh, you can see here there is a it is called as hydraulic boom and this is called as a dipper stick dipper stick and this is the bucket so it can excavate the soil using this bucket and this dipper stick and boom help the bucket to adjust according to the excavation so it supports driver to maintain accuracy while excavating so as i as i discussed 180 degrees excavator is used to excavate small quantities of work now the next one is trucks which are generally called as dump trucks uh, technically it can be called as articulated dump trucks so these are the hauling equipment whatever the machines we have discussed until now maybe the 360 degrees excavator or 100 degrees excavator whichever excavates the work whichever excavates the soil whichever excavates the earth the excavated earth is collected or dumped into this truck and this truck travels to the dumping place wherever it is so it go and dump the required amount of soil so these are various types of excavators 
we use in uh, civil engineering construction process so i recommend everyone to kindly go through this and you don't need to